ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Winged Sim Racing. Now for today's video, we are going to test drive the 2021 MG6 X Power. Um, now this car has a 1.5 liter turbo, in turbo engine, four cylinders, um, and it produces 224 kilowatts and 480 newton meters of torque. Um, it is front wheel drive, it has a six speed sequential gearbox or a, um, I, I don't know if it's a, a double clutch gearbox or what, but it, it, it I do use the flappy paddles on this, it doesn't, it's not a conventional manual gearbox. Um, and the PI rating on this is um, 8 class 716. Um, and there's some controversy for me. If, if, if the picture that we have now on us is, is from the rear, and doesn't it look a little bit <laughs> like the same trail we drove last week? Um, or is it just me? Um, uh, yeah, I know, I know, and, and please correct me in the comments if I am totally incorrect, but MG was always a, 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 a English based or UK based manufacturing firm, but isn't, is this car now built by the Chinese? Like, um, I, I do like, just a question, I do like the, 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 the green floor mats inside it is it does accent the car quite quite good i, I like it um i do i do like it a little not a little bit quite a lot um we did have a, a nitro boost and i had a race a couple of uh, weeks ago between um the lincoln co and this but the other car we received the, the race car the touring car um, if, uh, if I'm correct they are both in the Chinese touring car leagues and um, they are quite quite nice to drive this has better handling but the Lincoln Co is a little bit faster than this one for um, for interest sake um, but they both um, they both are quite nice cars so I do wonder if this is a a CVT or a deal clutch. I, I didn't even, I didn't even, or maybe a single clutch. I don't even, don't know if it's a deal clutch or a single, single clutch, but I didn't, I didn't do my research today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it does sound, it does sound nice. I like it. I like the, 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 the crackle on, on, on the runoff runoff part of it, so um, I, I do like it. Anyway, so let's um let's take her out for a for a spin and see how she does. Let's see how she does. Um, 200 kilowatts the front wheels only. I think, I think it's gonna be an handful. I do think it's gonna be an handful. So, um, let's see. One thing that I did notice, which would, which, oh, sorry, uh, which could have been, could have, uh, it could have been nice. It's an indication of, of, what gear we are in because I know I'm in six now but there's no indication on screen so do I miss it somewhere the 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 if we have a dual speedo one in miles an hour and one in kilometers an hour but there's no indication of I'm so focused on that that I haven't even that I don't check what's going on in front of me. But anyways, I'm looking for it, but there's nothing. I don't know what that graph in front of me is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be 
I don't know, a G meter or a vector meter, I cannot, I don't know, I don't know. So that's 276, 275, 276, which is, which is quite impressive for, for a 1.5 liter turbo charged engine. Mm -hmm. So let's see, that's third gear. So it does pull quite quite well out of third gear, um, I must say. So that's sixth gear. Just cruising around. Um, see something when we are in third gear and we, we are we're running that corner let's see let's see how she how she pulls from what's it gonna be 80 70 70 60 60 kilometers an hour in third gear okay let's see that's 65 100 120 oh that's not bad that's not that's not bad that's not bad that's not bad yes, but let's see the, the the final decider will be our test track um, and uh, like I said the touring the touring car version of this that I drove a couple of weeks ago in Forza from Horizon 5 um, did have very good um, handling ability so will will this be the same case for for the street legal version of it. So it's it has a little bit of a screamer, isn't she? So far, so good. Oh, oh, oh! Back in one step, add a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's some um, understeer, hard braking, understeer. Okay. So that's that 224 horses. I did shift to third just to see what she what what she will do if we um, pull a half third or not. So let's see on her. Um, sorry, thinking and speaking two different languages is quite difficult. Gonna keep my foot planted. Ooh, ooh, oh, we did make it. Yeah. Sorry, that was me moving around my headset because... Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep it. Mm. So the back end is very loose in this car. In when you're braking in a corner. Especially, especially coming, coming fast into a corner. Like, like that, that corner there. So. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Last lap, we are currently at what, at a 122. So let's see. Let's see if we can beat that lap time. Now, this. Keeping my foot that's 215 kilometers an hour, roughly. Ooh, snap uh, It's very deep, that's gonna hurt my time. 
definitely. Although we did make a few mistakes on the previous one, so let's see. Nope, nope, nope. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. That's better. Keeping that back in a little bit more in the check. Giving a third gear so that we do not have that much wheel spin. Second gear for this. Wait, oh, I was too soon on the throttle there. Let's. This is our final corner where we can maybe redeem ourselves. Take it a little bit wider. Shift. Yes, that's better. That's better. That's better. Let's see. Let's see. Running on the gravel, cutting the corner. Fifth gear. Running straight into. That's going to be a 217. Did I see correctly? 217. That is fast. This car is a lot. Yeah, 217, 3 double one. That is very, very good. So, um, this car do have a lot of potential, I must say. It is, it is, again, it's like with, it's like with the Honda Civics. The, the, the Civic Type R also has a lot of power going to that front wheels. And, and it is, it is too much for only, only front wheels to, to handle it. Well, Oh, there it is down below. So that's the that's the that's the problem with, with front wheel drive cars and having too much too much um, power going through to just one one axle, and it needs to steer, and it needs to accelerate, and it needs to grip, and it needs to so no, you get you get the point. So uh, anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that's it from me. I'm Vainis. I'm one of the drivers for Winged Summer Racing. Please like, please subscribe, and then we will see you in the next one. Keep safe, keep well, and bye-bye.